Hey there, everyone. This is Mr. Philip Campbell with Homeschool Connections History in a Minute, your bearded, nerdy history guru. And today we are asking the question of how did we get last names? Uh, last names are really a recent development in the West. And uh, in the beginning, only nobles had last names, and these were what are called by names, names that denoted where someone was from. Like Godfrey de Bouillon was the Lord of Bouillon, it was a place. Or Rudolf von Habsburg was the Count of Habsburg Castle. So these were originally last names that denoted places. Eventually, by names trickled down to the commoners. Uh, in England, you had last names like uh, Atwell or by water, that is, you lived at the well or by the water. And the, these were used when two people with the same first name lived in the same town. Two guys named Tom lived in the same town. One is Tom Bywell, one is Tom Atwater. Uh, in, other, in other regions, like where there was a more clan-based system or culture, like in Ireland, Scotland, uh, Scandinavia, you had patronymics, that is, last names telling you who you were the son of. Um, for example, uh, names like O'Neill, MacDonald, and Harold's son. That's son of O'Neill, son of Donald, son of, uh, son of Harold. Uh, and of course, uh, all throughout uh, England and, and Germany, there's lots of occupational names, last names that tell, tell what that person did, like Smith, Fletcher, or Chandler in English, or in German, Bauer, Fischer, or Holtzmann, these, uh, these names that, that tell about an occupation. Uh, these names were common in the latter Middle Ages, but they didn't become uh, standardized until the reign of Henry VIII, who passed a law in England that uh, all new births and marriages must be registered by their last names for the purpose of better keeping track of people and presumably taxing them. So since the 16th century, they've been universal, at least in the English-speaking world, and now you know. So subscribe to this YouTube channel, visit us online at www.homeschoolconnections.com, and remember, history, it's awesome.